Hey guys, I'm Prash. I'm a first year medical student at Newcastle and um, I'm from Singapore. So, uh, so audits are actually quite unique um, and they're done all over the world, but I think they're only called audits in the UK. And essentially it's a um, systematic review or systematic process in which hospitals um, can know how to improve like patient care or like outcomes. And the way this works is that they collect data over a period of time. So it, it highlights areas that need improvement in terms of like patient care or like any um, existing procedures or uh, that take place in the hospital or any existing guidelines. If there are any uh, problems with it, the audit actually exposes it and shows them how they can improve it. So I think it's essential in every hospital and every hospital in the UK has many audits every week, every month, and it's very common in the UK. So, so the thing with audits is that they're really versatile, so they can be really simple and, really, and also really complex at the same time. So for example, if you look at a simple audit, um, it could be something like uh, the wastage of surgical equipment in surgeries in a specific hospital. So like all over the UK, and considering that the UK runs on a public health system, um, it's, it's important not to like waste funds or waste equipment unnecessarily and a lot of hospitals spend up to 200 or 300 pounds per week on surgeries um, using equipment that was actually never used and has to be disposed because it's a one-time use kind of thing. There are audits that just simply look at stuff like that and on the other hand there are more nationalized global audits that look at a common problem that's there worldwide for example uh, any um, complications after a specific type of surgery due to a specific type of equipment and um, these are done these might be done at a local setting but being like they might be extrapolated and looked at on a more global perspective and yeah you'll see all, a range of um, range of difficulties or a range of types of audits and and it's quite interesting So my audit was looking at respiratory failures or complications after major abdominal surgery. So it basically looked at all the patients over a period of time that had any um, surgery on their stomach or their gut and after that, a few months after that, whether they came up with any breathing difficulties back to the hospital and if so, why? The reason uh, the audit was performed was because doctors across the um, UK had seen that this was a common problem and no one knew why it was happening. So they wanted to know if it was a problem with the actual operation itself or the way they were doing the operation or the standards that the hospitals were, um, like the, the clinical standards of each hospital. And they, they wanted to investigate the specific reason for it. Thanks guys for watching this video. And as usual, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any uh, questions about audits, uh, feel free to hit me up on